All right, we'll go ahead and begin today. Uh, this time I would like to show you how to edit a Kaltura video that you've already uh, captured or done a screencast of. So uh, last week we did a Kaltura personal capture of a PowerPoint presentation, kind of a mock-up example that your professor wants you to do a presentation where you do a screencast and then kind of have a talking head uh, webcam video uh, on you doing your presentation. So we last week we did that recording, so I'm going to log into Kaltura, eiu.edu slash K-A-L-T-U-R-A. You'll have to type in your username and password, so go ahead and do that. Whenever you log in, you will see all of your videos. Now I've got several, but here's the one you can see that we did last time that I recorded on October 9th at 2.06 p.m. So I'm going to click on that to open that up into Kaltura. And now then, we're going to do some editing. Now I didn't explain this really well last time, but you see this little picture-in-picture -picture here? This arrows, these left and right arrows, if I click on that, that switches the view. And this is for your viewers, the people that will be, that will be viewing the video. If I click that arrow again, it switches to my webcam, switches to the screencast, and this is typically how people watch it with the large PowerPoint in the background and then talking head in the corner. And then we also do have like a side-by-side -side where everything's equal. And then we have just the screencast, or I can switch to the left and right arrow and do just the talking head. That's a viewer choice, and that's one of the nice features of Kaltura Capture. So this is one, let me just go through here and Let's play this back and see. I'm going to play this back and see where I want to stop it at. I'm recording now, so I might need to trim off the beginning and end of this. But let me just go into uh, full screen mode here. Okay, so I'm going to pause that right there. So I'm, I'm talking there. It's not really pertinent to the uh, conversation. So now I want to edit it. So I'm going to go down here to my little actions, pull down menu, and say edit. It will open up into the editor. You can see that this is a private video. I've not shared it with anyone else. So let's launch the Kaltura editor. So I'm clicking on the launch editor button. And then at this point, you can see these little uh, yellow tabs. These are our trim tabs, our left trim tab, or end point, and then our out point. So once again, let me play this, and I'm going to listen closely and stop this. I'm using my play button right here, and I'll hit pause wherever I want to, to stop the trim. I'm recording now, so I might need to trim off the beginning and end of this, but let me just go into uh, full screen mode here. Okay, so I stopped it right there. You can see that my playhead has advanced right here, and then these little set in point and set out point. Since my cursor is right there, exactly where I want this to be trimmed, I'm going to click on my end point. Set in, watch what happens. Okay, that yellow tab moves down there, so I've trimmed off the beginning. Now let's move my cursor down here to the very end. Same thing, we want to listen to this uh, closely and uh, see where I want to stop it for my out point. I'll say bye everybody. Okay, right there. Bye everybody. Wave. I'm going to stop it there and I'm going to click on the set out point. Watch what happens right here. Set out. Okay, I've just trimmed off the beginning. I've trimmed off the end. Whenever I'm happy with that, I could preview this. I know I'm, that's pretty good. And I'm going to say save a copy. Now, I always recommend that you save a copy. So it says clip of Kaltura recording. And then I'm going to put the word trimmed on the end of that to remind me that I have trimmed that. And, you know, I might want to give it a more meaningful name, but I'll just leave it uh, here for now. Now, I'm hitting create. This is being saved uh, to the Kaltura web servers. And it says my media has been saved. So I'll say OK. I'm finished. I'm finished editing and things. So I'm going to go up to my uh, login uh, area up here and go back to my media. And this will show me that I probably have something in my queue. Yeah, it's not rendered yet. You see the picture of the camera. This often takes several minutes for it to go out and to, uh, to be processed. Uh, but let's pretend that it's done. Let me choose that this the second one, the, the one underneath here. Let's pretend that this is our final product. If it were my final product, I would click on this. It would be automatically trimmed and we're ready to go. And then one last thing is I would want to share this with somebody. So I would just simply click on my share button, copy this URL and email it to my professor or a fellow student, whoever I want to watch this video. And that's it. All right. 
So as usual, whenever you finish, make sure that you log out. That will go ahead and process in the background. It'll take a few minutes, and then you'll be ready to share the real presentation. So that's it. Until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.